Tesla reported today second highest quarterly free cash flow results in his history with 2.7 billion in free cash flow. So $2,742 million profits. And when you see that since 2021, they had one quarter in March of 2024, where they did not have positive free cash flow. This is outstanding. Initially, yes, Tesla was a car company. Now it's far more than that. It's growing different branches within the company that will continue to generate more free cash flow. And yes, Tesla is quite a complex company. It's a disruptive company. It's innovating. It's investing quite a lot of money into itself. But when you see a company that's generating this amount of profits, it's a no-brainer to invest in this type of company. Many people don't understand it, understand it at different levels. And therefore, when the understanding is not very clear, you will get mispricing. And that's what early investors need to find out. So for me, when you look at free cash flow like this, it's a low risk type of investment. But when you see how they're innovating in all kinds of different fields and they're leading in most of those fields, then it's pretty easy. You don't need to be a, an impressive analyst to determine that they will generate a lot more money. Therefore, there's value in this company. You don't have to make it that complicated. Estimating what type of level of profits they will get in one year, three years, five years is not that critical because when you're investing, you want returns that are extremely difficult to predict. But if you see a company that's generating cash in an industry like the automotive industry, where it's extremely difficult to make money and they are leading way ahead of the giants of the auto industry right now who are struggling, then you see that they have an advantage. And that's when you make a call of, should I invest or not in this type of company? So for me, Tesla looks at an amazing stock to invest. This video is in October, 2024, and I have different bags that I have for my investment. So I invest in Bitcoin, I invest in Solana, and also was invested in Tesla. So we'll analyze the chart right after. But what I wanted to say is that Tesla right now is at an amazing price for those who want to invest for the long term, not financial advice. However, how the share price will catch that future value of the company, it's very difficult to know. But historically, in the last three years or so, we haven't gone anywhere because analysts don't seem to be helping the company, but values like today of free cash flow will have to change their minds. We will need to see how the share price will move in the upcoming months to see if money will be flowing into the company and that exponential phase of growth that everybody expects in Tesla will happen or not. For me, I believe that it's going to take at least a year, year and a half before really things explode in Tesla, meaning share price and returns for the stock. But if you get in at this stage, you're going to probably get a really, really good price for the stock. If you're willing to wait that two, three, five years for your investment. As I invest in Bitcoin, I think right now, it's the optimal time to invest in Bitcoin. Same thing for Solana. So therefore, I have moved the position that I had of Tesla into those two positions because time-wise, I think the year, the next year, year and a half, crypto, Bitcoin and Solana will outpace anything that will happen with Tesla. Therefore, I'm putting my money in the fastest horse. But it doesn't mean that I'm bashing on Tesla. It's an, an amazing company. It's not a well understood company. 
is generating a lot of cash. And for me, investing in Tesla is a no-brainer if you invest for the long term. If you invest as a day trader for a couple of weeks or things like that, it's very difficult to see when the stock will start to appreciate in a significant way. That's my take on Tesla. Let's have a look at the current chart. So here we have the daily chart for Tesla. We'll review quickly after the weekly. So you see here the long trend downwards here. And finally, we seem to have hit a bottom around here at the price of 140. Then we have a solid support at 160. And we try to trade it sideways from January up to June. So that's pretty much six months. Then we tried to break out, failed, came back within the range. Again, tried to break out, corrected, came back to the support. And now, after market, I think the price is around 239, 240. So we could bounce from here. So this could be quite bullish. But like I said, Tesla has been making money for a while. And the sentiment has either been down or flat in a very very long time so investors needed to be patient most of them accumulated along the way because they didn't know when sentiment would really change for the stock it could be now this is a significant change especially in an industry where everybody is struggling except tesla and that's bound to make a really a lot of eyes come towards Tesla and see how they're doing things, see how they're dominating, and also understand that the other car makers are in really, really big trouble because they don't have any of the amazing tools that Tesla have to generate future revenue for their own company. So it could be an important time for Tesla. So this is the weekly chart and we see that the peak was in November 2021. Long, long, long correction. Found the bottom at $100. Then like I said, 140. And now it could be 215, could be the floor right now if we move up. If we move uh, above $275, it means that all this down trend it's pretty much over and now we could start a new phase that could be similar to what we saw here from $23 up to 400 something before in 2020, 2021 and 2022. One thing is certain, Tesla will make money in the future and the other car makers for, in my opinion, are pretty much toast. They cannot catch up in any shape or form. The way Tesla is making cars right now is way better, more efficient, and more profitable than any other of the car makers. That's only the car segment. Then comes the robotaxi, the bots, and they're already generating impressive amounts of money with all the electric and power packs that they have, batteries also. So there's going to be many, many more lines of business from Tesla that are going to start to contribute more and more to that free cash flow and therefore the free cash flow grows, investment grows, domination grows and then share price should follow. Like I said, I believe that Bitcoin, Solana and these type of assets right now will move faster than Tesla but eventually Bitcoin and Solana will top out and correct and that could be a great 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 opportunity to switch profits from Bitcoin and Solana into this dominating stock that will be Tesla that will be long live it's going to last for a really really long time if you want to de-risk I guess your investments post the crypto cycle the crypto exponential phase my plan is to invest heavily in Tesla after that because it will be the company of the future and it could 
be the number one market cap stock ever. So that can be achieved in the upcoming years easily. They are innovating and we don't even know all the different lines of business that could generate cash for the company in the future. So they're going to be massive. They're going to dominate. They're going to change the world. They're going to change how we do transportation, how we look at energy in the future, how we use bots in the future also. So there's a lot of changes coming in the upcoming years. It's very exciting. So congrats to the current shareholders. And I hope that we get beyond this $275 because that would initiate a new phase of growth for Tesla. Let's see how the stock will behave in the upcoming months and see if we can break this downwards and consolidation period for the stock.